Well, how y'all are today? It's your buddy George Jones over here at Tyberg and Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I got this old used gun. The old used gun I've got today is this cute little fellow. This is the Ortiz. Now, the Ortiz may sound like it's made in uh, Spain or someplace like that, but actually, these guns were made in Germany during the 1920s and 30s. And they came in 25, 32, 380, and 9 millimeter. Um, I don't think they produced the 25 and the 32 after World War II, but they did produce a 9 millimeter in the 1960s. All of them based on this gun in an ever increasing frame size. Uh, it's a pretty unique gun. It's a two and a half inch barrel, seven shot, 25 automatic, that's actually a hammer fired gun. It has an internal hammer. So the hammer cocks and you pull the trigger and it fires. Now the Ortiz has a very interesting safety mechanism. Uh, it has a grip safety, okay? Over here on the side is a button. You push that safety and it pushes and locks the grip safety in the on safe position. Then when you grab a hold of the gun and get a good grip on it, it pushes in the grip safety and that takes it off safe and it's ready to go. Um, this, this company, this Ortiza Werner works uh, easy something you know, I can't read it. Not very good at it. Sorry. Uh, and it's... It says made in Germany on it. In German. Which leads me to believe that it wasn't intended to be an imported gun. Uh, a lot of German officers and bureaucrats carried this gun. A lot of them came back with GIs. I'm pretty sure all of them that you see came back with GIs. Now... It doesn't have any uh, Nazi acceptance marks on it or anything like that. It's just a straight commercial gun. The uh, serial number is down here on the bottom of the frame. It's a cute little gun. I've seen a lot of these over the years. You don't see them as often as you used to. It's got a standard heel catch on it. But here's the thing. This particular one has a Ortiz factory magazine in it. There's enough of these in the world that some of the magazine manufacturers out there actually produce magazines for it. Or you or produce them from time to time and you can get them. You can go on, oh, what is it, HKS and Optics World and so forth and find a magazine for this gun. But this is an original factory magazine. I'm going to get some good ammunition out here <coughs> and give us going to try. It holds seven. So let me put three of those back in the box. Or four of them because I dumped out eleven. Okay. Uh, PMC bronze ammunition is what we're shooting here. Um, if it doesn't work, we also have some Winchester Super X and some Norma. Let's see if it's going to try. We've got a seven yard uh, half size B27 police silhouette set up at seven yards. It's a half size target. We're going to get this gun loaded. One more in it. One more in it here. All right. Got her in there good. All right. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, magazine goes in nicely. See if we can get it charged and loaded into battery or loadified looks like it went in battery let's get some ear mufflers on these things tend to be pretty loud all right it's off safe cute little gun trigger guard's a little bit small for my finger uh, very minuscule non-existent little fly shooter sights it's a combination of a slide groove 
a really small milled on rear side aperture and just an almost you can't pick it up front sight. But I'm going to point it right dead in the middle of this target and see if I can't hit it. Fired and loaded itself back. That's good. Whoops. Got to fail to fire. Okay. There's a very minuscule dent on it. All right, let's see if we try this again. All right, it's empty. I'm saying that because there is a dent on that and it did fire the other rounds in the test, that it was the ammunition's fault. Give it another, another whack here. <laughs> See if we can get it to shoot. All right. This is a cute little gun. Yeah, I got one in it. Okay. Right, that one went. Clear and safe. Let's go down here and look at it. Did we hit it at all? Pull the holes really little, I don't see them. Oh, yes. Yes, we did. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there, dead in the middle. Eh, I wouldn't expect any better accuracy at any greater range. 25 automatics are not really made for long range, long range shooting. Uh, they're strictly designed to be a defensive gun. Uh, and I like 25 as a as a defensive gun as opposed to a 22 long rifle or something like that for the simple reason that 25s tend to be more reliable in a small automatic than a 22 long rifle. Uh, that gun was enough fun. I think we're going to shoot it again. I do. I think we're going to shoot that gun again. Give it the old acid test this time. See how fast we can rip them off. Twenty-five ACP typically has a uh, fifty-six, sixty-two grain full metal jacket bullet. Comes out of there about eight hundred and fifty feet per second. Will penetrate about ten to twelve inches of ballistic gelatin, depending on the formula. Uh, typically, will stop at a bone. Won't ricochet. It's not a real good wound producer, but you know the thing about a 25 automatic is even if you've got a 250 pound thugazoid that's got a hold of you, two 25s in the gut and one in the groin generally says, let me go, and they generally take it to heat. You know, I would. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I would definitely basically a let go of me gun all right let's shoot this thing seven more shots here see what we can do here. <laughs> i may have to buy this gun for myself i just tell you the truth i may have to go back to the boss and make a deal with him on that one this <laughs> is 25 shells going everywhere out here uh, the little or these guns, these guns command fairly good money for what they are. Uh, if you see one of these guys for sale, chances are they want somewhere around $200 for it. It's probably worth it. Uh, it is a good piece of German craftsmanship. It, it runs. I've seen a few of them over the years that didn't work right. But uh, this one does. So, you know, it's kind of a buyer beware kind of situation. Uh, I'll probably wind up with this gun just to tell you the truth. This is, uh, I've always liked this design. 
you know and uh, this one seems to be very reliable and functional uh, I hate to carry an 80 year old gun around with me you know but it's nice to have some kind of a small gun that you can you know I carry open carry all the time of course I'm sporting and it's like you know but uh, it's kind of nice when you go into movies or a nice restaurant or something not to have a big old uh, two inch 38 hanging on your hip have something reliable you can defend yourself with at close range that you can put in your pocket this is the kind of thing little Ortiz 25 auto works perfect all right then that's about the size of it uh, like take share five commentate and some scribble leave me an old dollar in the patreon bucket on the way out the door if you want to and if you don't well I just keep right on making content for you y'all have a wonderful and blessed 2a day we'll see y'all